Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and today is all about this question right here. Can you upgrade your MDT-8443 to the latest and greatest MDT-8456? Now, a lot of you guys automatically think that if you have 8443, you have to upgrade it to 8450, then you're able to upgrade to 8456. And that's not the case, and I'm going to show you. So let's get started. So First thing first, uh, I like to test everything out within my VMware workstation. I have a virtual machine. I'm going to right click on the start menu, click on run. And within the run command, I'm going to type in WinVER, click OK. And I basically created a MDT8443 uh, new machine with Windows Server 2019. Okay. I also installed the latest and greatest Windows ADK that supports Windows 10 1809. You can still do that. I do recommend keeping your Windows ADK up to date. Doesn't matter what MDT build you have, just make sure it's up to date, right? Now, first things first, you're gonna click on Start, and when you click on Start, locate the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and open up your Deployment Workbench. From here, I'm gonna show you guys, if I click on Help and go into About Microsoft Deployment Workbench, you're going to see that I am running the 6.3.8443.1000 build, okay? Uh, you don't really need to upgrade to 8450 to get to 8456, right? Pretty simple video, right? So let's click OK. Uh, I'm showing you guys that I do have operating systems within this current MDT build. I do have a task sequence. Uh, it was working. It is working. So what you need to do is download your MDT 8456 and just right click on your Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 64 bit and click on install, click on next, accept the license and terms, click on next, next again. Uh, I don't like to join the customer experience improvement program. So I just left it as I don't want to join the program at this time. Click on next, install. And it's going to do its thing and bam, you're good to go. Click finish. Now go back inside start and locate the Microsoft deployment toolkit folder and open up your deployment workbench. From here, you're going to expand the deployment share node. You're going to see, you're going to see an exclamation point. Do not freak out. Okay. It's, you're going to right click on it and do upgrade deployment share. You're going to get the nice little upgrade deployment share wizard. Click on next. It's going to do its thing. This process takes between five to 10 minutes. It really depends on how intense your deployment is. If you have like a, a lot of operating systems, a lot of task sequence drivers, applications, it will take some time. Uh, eventually, when everything is done, you're going to get this. This is always a good thing when you get the process completed successfully, right? Click finish. You're going to see your deployment share, expand it, check your operating system, check your task sequence, and you're good to go. Next thing that you need to do is test it out. Now from here I went to help about Microsoft deployment workbench and as you can see it is no longer 8443 it is 8456 so I don't really need to upgrade to 8450 to get to 8456 I could do a huge jump and it will still work out. Now before you do this and you're paranoid like I am uh, I would typically just upgrade my 8443 deployment share folder make a copy of it put it somewhere within the network uh, you know, anywhere like a file share, whatever you want to, or a flash drive, whatever, and then do the upgrade. Or if you're doing it within a virtual machine, take a snapshot of your 8443 environment, then push out the upgrade, test everything out, make sure everything is working, and then you're good to go. Delete the snapshot, and you're ready to continue working with your latest and greatest MDT8456. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.